morning to all of my students and all of Form 2 students in Malaysia. Today, I'm going to teach about acid and alkali. The topic of acid and alkali is very important topic to be learned for those who have very keen interest towards chemistry, who have the ambition to work in the field, the industry or in the medical sector, in agriculture and many more. Well, what is acid and what is alkali? Acid is a substance that contains hydrogen ions and alkali is a substance that contains hydroxide ion. I don't want mommy. Yes, I know, I know. It doesn't matter. But at this moment, it is very important for you to understand that acid and alkali have a few properties that could distinguish between them. pH value ranges from 1 until 14. The range of pH value for acid is from 1 until 6.9 and for alkali is from 7.1 until 14 and pH number 7 is for neutral substance for acid substances they tend to have the sour taste like whereby for the alkali they tend to have bitter taste like Both strong acid and strong alkali are corrosive. What is corrosive? Corrosive is the ability of the substance to corrode any surface that they are in contact to. We have two types of litmus paper, a red litmus and the second is blue litmus. When we dip a red litmus paper in in an acid substance, the litmus doesn't change color, it stays red. But if you dip the red litmus paper in alkaline substance, it changes from red to blue. And for the blue litmus paper, if we dip into the acid substance, it changes color from blue to red. But if you dip into alkaline substance, the blue color stays. When we immerse a type of metal inside the acid, for example aluminium, the acid reacts with the metal to release hydrogen gas. And this gas can be confirmed a hydrogen when we test with burning wooden splinter. So it will give a squeaky pop sound when we place the splinter near the gas. For alkali substance, no reaction. Now let's talk about the role of water. All solid and gaseous substances will not show their acidity or alkalinity properties without the presence of water. With the presence of water, molecules from the acid will disassociate to form hydrogen ions. Hydrogen ions in water the properties of acid revealed and for the alkali with the presence of water ionization will happen to produce hydroxide ions and this hydroxide ion is responsible for the properties of alkali so all the things that we found in our daily life is not easily to be labeled as acid or alkali. We must use the term substance. When we say the substance is an acid substance, it means it contains acid inside the, inside the substance. And when we say the substance is alkali substance, it contains alkali in the substance. So the example of acid substances that are commonly found in our daily life are fizzy drink or some people call it carbonated drink. In the carbonated drink, it contains carbonic acid. Second example is vinegar. It contains acetic acid. The next one is fruit juice. Different juice 
contains different acid for example we have citric acid in lemon juice lime juice oranges juice, gooseberry juice they contain citric acid some juice contain malic acid example apple juice apricot juice blackberry and cherry juice oxalic acid in carrot juice and tomato juice tartaric acid in banana juice avocado juice ascorbic acid in guava juice passion fruit juice and kiwi juice now the example of alkaline substance in our daily life oven cleaner it contains ammonia baking soda it contains sodium bicarbonate and drain and blocker it contains strong alkaline sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide now let's talk about indicator indicator is a substance that have different color and it changes color when being tested on either alkali or acid the color changes by the indicator could be used to determine whether the substance tested is acid alkali or neutral substance phenolphthalein is a chemical compound used as an indicator for alkaline titration process is a procedure used to measure the amount of alkaline substance needed to neutralize an acid substance the original color of phenolphthalein is colorless when we mix with acid substance it's still colorless but when the phenolphthalein mixed into in an alkali it changes to pink the next one is universal indicator. It is a pH indicator made from several compounds that exhibit color changes over a wide range of pH value. The neutral color of universal indicator is green when the substance tested is approaching acid, it changes to orange and when it goes higher acidic it turns yellow when the acid is becoming stronger it changes to red and for the range of alkaline color changes for the mild alkaline the color change from green to blue when it reach a higher alkaline it turns to violet and when it reach a stronger alkaline it turns to indigo so on overall it means here universal indicator also used to test the strength of acid and alkaline the color changes tells the value of the pH the next indicator is methyl orange Methyl orange is used for acid titration. Acid titration is a process to measure the amount of acid needed to neutralize an alkaline substance. Before you're going worry and dizzy about the term titration and neutralization, let me emphasize that these two words are just word need to be used to describe about methyl orange and phenolphthalein so at this moment just take it as it is because these two terms are going to be discussed further in the next video under the topic of neutralization now the original color of methyl orange is yellow and when it tested upon an alkaline it is still yellow but when it is tested on acid it turns red and the next two are very common one the blue litmus paper and a red litmus paper as i mentioned earlier red litmus paper stays red in acid but changes to blue in alkaline and for blue litmus changes to red when immersed in acid but stay blue in alkaline let's recap the number of indicator we've learned so far is 
five. Number one is phenolphthalein. Number two, universal indicator. Number three, methyl orange. Number four, red litmus. And number five, blue litmus paper. Remember these five. And also remember their changes. Okay, now let's talk about the application of acid and alkali in agriculture, industry, and also medical sector. In agriculture sector, lime water is used as fertilizer. It is an alkaline substance to control the pH value of a soil. Agriculture lime helps to reduce the acidity of soil. By applying lime to the soil when it becomes too acidic, the farmer is helping their crops to grow healthier. The growth of crops for farmer is very important. If the crops is not growing healthy, it will affect the whole agriculture business including the bottom line. It is very important to test the soil's pH value to know when, where and how much how much lime water as a fertilizer to be applied on the soil so that the application of the lime water to the soil is at its optimum level. In the industry, acid and alkali are the workhorse in the chemical industry. They are found across a wide range of application including production of dyes and pigments, artificial fibers, production of plastic soaps and paper, textile treatment, photography, and also glass making. In medical sector, the pharmacists are using uh, their understanding and knowledge about acid and alkali to prepare medicine for treatment for their patients. For example, in treating heartburn due to acid reflux in the stomach, people in medical line would suggest the use of alkaline water to diffuse the stomach acidity to maintain the pH balance in the stomach. The next one is acetic acid. It is an antibiotic that treat infection caused by bacteria and fungus. That's all about acid and alkali for this video. I hope you can stay tuned to wait for the next video. Don't forget to click subscribe, like. If you have further question, you are free to write in the comment section below. And see you again.